My name is Lance Sommerfeld, and my son Jake is 15 months old. My name is Josh Sates. I have a four and a half year old son named Oliver and a 20 month old son named Foxy. Uh, my name is Frank Benavides. My daughter's name is Elizabeth and she is 17 months old. I'm a stay at home dad. I am a stay at home dad. I'm a stay at home dad. When my wife was pregnant, we discussed different options for uh, childcare and it made the most sense for me to be Jake's primary caregiver. I actually became a stay-at-home dad through the economic downturn. Um, basically, I was let go from my office, and um, that, that, as well as economic factors, forced me to uh, be at home, be the one taking care of my daughter. So I would like to just say that I'm done working for now and just take care of the kids, and my wife said, that sounds wonderful. I would love for one of us to be home, and she didn't really want to do it, so she was very happy that I wanted to do it. <laughs> The most challenging part of being his primary caregiver is just time management. Trying to get things done around his schedule. Some of the dads, they don't work. Um, they, they basically are home with their kids all day. That's work in itself. Right now it's, you know, feed and change and then find the activity. But um, they're not income producing work on the outside and, and I think that's one of the biggest challenges for me is trying to get that done. Getting that shower and just simple things like going to the bathroom. And then it's time for a nap and then it's time to do something else and then the other kid comes home from school and so I find myself kind of working at all hours. Time management has really been challenging for me and I'm, I'm, I'm still up against that same challenge. So we end up running from one thing to the next. But it's been working so far so I, I really can't complain because everything's been a pleasure being home with her. I don't think what I do with him on a daily basis is probably very much different than, than a mother who's a, his, a primary caregiver of their son. Um, you know, we prepare his meals, make sure he's rested, getting his naps, getting fed. Um, are the conversations, you know, with me and the dads probably a little different than the moms? Yeah, you know, we, we definitely talk sports and not really about lactation and, and breastfeeding. So in that respect, it might be a little bit different um, in the conversations between like a dad's group and a mom's group. My relationship with my wife has actually gotten better because I'm not stressed out about having to deal with work and she's not worried about who's taking care of her kids. Some of the unexpected pleasures that I see as being a stay-at-home father is that I, I get to see the milestones. My wife, I, I can tell you, misses those. Um, I try to video them, I try to take photographs of them. And sometimes, to tell you the truth, I don't say that I saw something that particular day. And then I wait till I see in the afternoon when she's home and then I say, oh, look, look, take a look, look what's happening. And then it's all fresh. Um, I find that my wife is, is definitely envious of me at times. She, you know, I know she races at home from work. You know, if she gets stuck in traffic, she calls me and she's, she's angry because she realizes she's losing valuable minutes with him before um, he actually goes to bed. we decided to start a group blog, www.nycdadsgroup.com. And what we aim to do is be a destination for dads on information, content, news, some thoughts by me, and, and really play group information for dads groups in the city and around the country. Is it one of the best jobs in the world? Yes, I, I totally agree. Um, when I was employed full time, I was looking to find out how can I get out of here? How can I find my way at home? And being at home, I haven't complained more.